Hey guys, Jared the Jester here, and today I'm going to teach you how to juggle three balls. Now when you first start juggling, there's a few things you need. And one of those things is a table, and of course, three balls. Um, not balls, hang on, three balls. What the hell? Three balls. Hang on. Three balls. Come on! Three balls! <sighs> One minute. So, with three balls, it essentially comes down to a handful of fundamental techniques that eventually go down to muscle memory. The main throw is, of course, well, first I'll show you what it's going to look like by the time you're done. By the end of this video, with daily practice, you'll eventually be able to do a very simple three ball pattern, like this, which is called the cascade. The reason you have the table is because, like I did when I first started, you're going to mess up a lot. So here's why the table's great. Now, you won't be bending over for several hours every time you drop something. So a table, a couch, a bench, anything works. So, first, let's remember one. It's all about aim for the most part. Imagine that you're in a box. There's a point here and a point here. About as high as shoulder length, way up here, whichever. And as you're throwing it up, you want to hit that mark. So, if we're in a box here, here's the corner. And so you eventually get that main arc. It becomes smooth and simple. Once you've gotten a basic throw down, you're going to want to be able to create space that will be replaced by another ball. There's two ways to do this. There's snapping your fingers, you have seen how that works out, and clapping your thigh. What you do is when you throw the ball, and it hits that, mar that mark, the corner of that box, you snap your fingers. Once it hits that mark, that snap is going to be where that second ball comes in. So it's throw, snap, catch, throw, snap, catch. After you've worked on that for a little while, we'll move on to two balls. With two balls, this is where that snap becomes more of a mental thing, if nothing else. Remember, throw, snap, catch, or throw, clap, catch, whichever one works for you eventually will become throw, snap, catch. The minute you hit that snap is when you throw that second ball. So it becomes throw, throw, catch. Only move on to this trick, to this trick once you're able to completely do one ball doing throw, snap, catch, or throw, clap, catch, whichever you want. Once that's done and you practice it thoroughly to where you can eventually make the balls kind of chase each other, for a good few minutes, you'll move on to three balls. Then it just comes down to widening your arc, upping a little bit of your speed, and think a lot less about where the ball is going. Trust your hands to know what to do. Not entirely trust, but know that with hand-eye coordination, your hands will almost always be ready to catch that ball. Didn't even look. Start with a really wide arc. I'm probably going to have a frame, but just to show you how it goes. Just real simple. Throw, throw, throw. Just three throws. And then eventually you get three becomes four, five, and then eventually you just keep going. Becomes so simple, it's like riding a bike. You will never forget, even if you don't do it for a long time. Combine with, combine with this and 
practicing every single day, it'll be just as easy as tying your shoes. I'm Gerard the Jester, and that's how you juggle three balls.